Hi guys, I really missed you. And today I want to make a big video about the Lorock project itself. I express my gratitude to Lorock team from the information provided. Let's start with the nation concept of the main Lorock princess, Iris. Initially, her color was pink. It is combined from light pink to dark purple. At the bottom, uh, there is beautiful skirt, long spears, and high tight. Tala also have blue color in this concept. By the way, note that the first version from the left. She have pink eyes. And now look at Ariana. Initially, this color was supposed to be purple. There are also options with red color. And the most interesting is the green hair color and yellow dress. This is the most non-standard option that has been proposed. And now look at another version of transformation of princess. There are no questions about the color scheme of Iris, but look at Ariana. Her color is still purple. This suggests that the princess color schemes were originally supposed to be called. I really like this version of the costume. Both skirts. The costumes like several more costumes. I mean. Let's look at uh, the next salt. Only always have this version of the custom and not color version of the Talia. I consider this custom to be rid of his uh, proposed transformation options. Let's look at the polygon custom options. For this option, I even made a separate transformation for all the princess. Ariana still has a purple color shame. The custom in the form of the Iris dress is very interesting. Maybe this is one of the first versions of Sanila? Or was them shown to us in the form of the Queen? Let's move to the evil characters. Look at the paints concept. Here by the way, we will show paints in the form of men. Or maybe it's a grammar? Versions of paints vary from cats. Or to Panther. It is bear. There is even some concept in the form of dinosaur. Look at the concept of Proxena. Its color shame is dark blue. Blonde long blue hair, red eyes. Such Proxena is generally unusual to me, but it look very unusual. By the way, this custom is very similar to the Pioneer customs of Princess. Maybe Proxena was one of the princes? The subsequent version of the custom is already more similar to the one we are used to. Look at the original version of Mephisto. Somehow it reminds me of the concept of Cocos and Demos uh, from the first season. There are actually some children of this concept. They look like a little Mephisto in Proxena. And here's the version where they have uh, white hair. By the way, the drawing style is not as similar to the current one. And this is most likely original version of the grammar. Looks like some kind of evil doctor, like uh, in the moves. In this sketch, is more likely Nathaniel. Accordingly to the concept, he probably should be become uh, not uh, not an abnero person, but a varro. Even crystal magic is present here. We also show several variants of Missy. In general, she has not changed. And that was change for her uh, was to create a harmonious color shame. The version of Missy with uh, red hair is very interesting. I think it suits her. We will also show a couple of Nathaniel and Doug concepts. I like this right t-shirt option. It looks very nice. We will also show a couple of concepts uh, of Amaru, where it looks more like some kind of cat. And a couple of monsters. As uh, if they came uh, out of some, some swarms uh, or nightmares. And now the most interesting thing, Lina and Corissa. I don't know why, but uh, in this version, 
uh, with Carissa, I see a girl with uh, yellow hair and yellow colors, same in general. Subsequently, this option turned out to be Lina. By the way, Carissa's jacket with long sweaters and the right color shame looks um, quite beautiful and harmony with her image. The other characters uh, want to make her a red color shame. What do you think? We will also show a couple of options of Lina's clothes. They range from long dress to pants with a t-shirt. And then we will show the options for hairstyles. There was Simon and variant uh, with a long uh, tail like uh, Ariane's. And this option are already more like uh, the one we know, Carissa. Well, here I see a yellow princess again. We will also show how the little rock team uh, came up with the uh, Carissa hairstyle. We will see even an option similar of uh, to be Artwick's hairstyle. The following costumes relate to Lina. Her hairstyle changed very slightly, and then we will show the color shame of the princess. Not uh, that is one of the variants. Carissa should have a green color shame, and Lina should have a purple one. And now a couple costumes of linen clothes. I will show you all these wonderful developments. Uh, I will read uh, how that uh, the Lorac team itself right. Lina and Chris' development. Hi, Lorac. There was a big post about Lina and Chris's development. Which season 1 was never completely written. We have a request from our producers. I don't know princess for a season 2 and have a 5 princess gang from now on. Initially, the team was very relevant. You were already had uh, too many characters, therefore added to more seemed a bad idea for the stories. Jane loses Fenderstack, suggests that the interesting uh, of a 5 princess uh, gang, that the new princess uh, should be supportive characters. Or it's right, uh, the main gang, uh, but always uh, ready and willing to help uh, when needed. That way, it will be either to add it uh, than without updated. The balance we created between Iris, Tali, and Ariana. That's why Lina and Clarissa were created. As part of the second team, is Zero's resistance, Princess. And why is it not part of episode of season 2, or live with the other princess? Jin loses inspiration for them uh, was Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. We wanted Lina and Carissa to be strong and independent, like uh, Izero was. We had, however, to keep them both around the same age as our three main princess, so we made them younger. It's more like princess in the training, rather than a dual virgin princess. Much the judge department. Now the question remained. What would uh, they look like? We wanted Carissa to be a fairy and Tumbleware princess, and Lina, and Lina to be a smoothie and delicate mad princess. We also want an Asian princess, but I didn't know which one it would be. And so we started to draw. Uh, all along uh, your reading uh, all this post and this design, I let you appreciate all the little details and difference here and there. You can see what matches way up to the end, what was rejected. Just be aware that it wasn't a straight path, it never is. 1. The first researchers. Why did new symbols uh, become like a game for the whole production team, not only the artist? We all tried to suggest new cool symbols, and of course suggested a lot of very stupid and relevant ones. It was good time. As for haircuts, uh, we tied uh, a lot, as you can see. It's probably one of the most important and distinctive feature of the magical princess. We had to make uh, a lot of tests. Once we have the drawings, we made a few proposals to our producers 
and broadcasters, with combination of magical and causal. And triangly known Carissa are the Asian princes, one after each other. 2. First proposal. For each the proposal below of a tight different alphabet each time. We knew that none of our proposal would be accepted entirely at the rare. Anyway, we always end up with a patchwork of the little of edge that you have to put together somehow, like it or not. This is part of the project, it seems. And for color patterns. Well, pink, orange, blue, red, green, black were already taken. There wasn't much left for the main colors that called fit. Purple and tail were chosen for Carissa and Lina. Yellow was rejected as we tested in Earl with Ariana and well, it really didn't work for the main gang. Maybe for an ascended princess, but not for Lina or Carissa. With Carissa and Sishan, Lina was Caucasian and preferred the choice of Iris and not young enough. As Lina and Sishan, we could put Carissa as an Irish type. And this combination was much more appealing for us. Everyone agreed up to a point we were asked. At uh, this time, that Carissa should be a redhead as Ariana has a person to be the group's redhead. And another one was not needed. Carissa's color would go from red, orange to brown all this time. Much work was yet to be done through. We have a basic direction, approved, but we need to explore more truly and it was time for more advanced color test too. As for the concussion type we kept to design and use it as a base for a character of season 2, Deborah, season 2, episode 15, the ruby of the orient. 3. Color researchers. Choosing the exact outfit was very complicated task. Perhaps more from the casual outfit than the magical one. Below are a lot of our tests. 4. Selected. In the end, here was a combination that was selected. But it wasn't still over. In fact, it's never seen teams on production. Manager Frostly takes a model sheet for the final approval seal and flip with it before you can stop him. Here. In our case, it didn't happen. So, here we go for the final adjustment. For the princess form, we were good and convinced they were ones we needed, but from the occasion of its and colors, not so much. Five final adjustments. In the Swiss model sheet, we tiny different colors on both our characters to make sure the fine girl line and world walk. We trying again. Color we previously rejected. We even tried to make Risa black again. Well, it helped us confirm a few things, but we still weren't there. For Lynn especially, we felt her job needed to be reworked. The need be served without sleeves, etc. Not. We tried to light her colors for her eyes while we were at it. And of course, there was always all along the process the question How hard will it be to animate? I confess this wasn't a priori for a lot of people, but we tried to never forget it nevertheless. Okay, at this stage, we had found the final shape for Lina. We all need to conform our colors. We're trying to put Carissa on the Irish red hat we originally wanted. And surprise, this time it worked and everyone was convinced we had found her too. And finally, after a few months of work and back and forth, we could go clear and color the final model. Six final model. It's fine to know that even the final color test we had, none of them are the good one. It was bit of one and bit of another in order to have a final model, as it always is. Okay, folks, this part of the last post of this season. 
I need my beauty summer vacation sleep. I have a lot to prepare for September if I want to continue feeling here with mother ships, development, backgrounds and stories of course. At some crazy late recording the animatics and I want to fix this. Have a nice summer everyone and see you back in September. Yes guys, have a good summer. I will continue to make a content for you if we are right with you. So see you soon!